to the Church Without Limits. We are so excited that you have joined us for our service. The service will begin shortly. Before we begin, please take note of the following. Join the Digging Deeper daily morning devotions that take place on weekdays at 5.30 a.m. on our online platforms. Please subscribe to and like our pages on all our social media platforms. We continue with our fasting and prayers every Monday at 6 p.m. at church and 7 p.m. online. We encourage you to invite your friends and family to join us for this wonderful time of prayer. You are invited to fellowship in our life groups, which is our small home fellowships that take place every Tuesday at 6 p.m. We encourage you to join these for spiritual growth and support. Please contact the office and we will help you find one nearest to you. On Wednesdays, you are invited to join our Bible study, which is at 6 p.m. both in person and live on our online platform. We continue with intercession every Friday at 8 p.m. at church as we pray for our country, communities, our families, as well as our churches. Thank you to all the brethren who continue to generously make donations to Hand of Grace, a ministry that focuses on meeting the need of the community and those who cannot support themselves. If you would like to make a donation, please contact the office and they will assist you. We encourage you to join our separate ministry gatherings for men and women that happen once a month, as well as the youth gatherings that happen every Friday. May this service transform you and change your life. Hallelujah, 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 until there is a, an okay, hallelujah, 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 that's more like it, hallelujah, our God is good. And all the time. But the Lord be greeted in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What a beautiful weather. Hallelujah. Go back in the Asimilti. Hallelujah. Mvula or no mvula, we shall be found in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go butik away to Aga Ugustanda Wake Agustopisha in Vula. So Nati Uguza Sizo Sanganiela. And yet, this is a suffering man. Look at Gustopisha in Vula. Hallelujah. 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 Being a little and you make a new one with the Molo Maki. Now I say, Makai, you are about and Jima Kamelin. Uti, hello, hello, hello. It's that time. It is that time. Amen. Shall we all? Shall we all read Psalms 121? 1, 2, 3, go. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let my foot slip. He who watches over me will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over me. The Lord is my shade at my right hand. The sun will not harm me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep me from all harm. He will watch over my life. The Lord will watch over my coming and going. 
both now and forevermore. Can we all pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We bless your name, O oh God. We thank you. Sia bonga babu temega wako sia bonga umusa wako sia bonga ubungwele bako sia bonga ubungulungulu bako sitage konjenga we nini manda onge si zapam wako siti asloa zanga utandulfana na lolo wako tiko we tongoele exeni nje siti wenu fanelo izbongo zonge. Tiko wetu otembegile no lutando. Siti mbela wenu ngungulu ngulu standa yono sinagegelai. Thank you for being our God. Thank you ngulu ngulu wetu ingwele for ugu standa no gu sinagegela. Thank you for utembega kwa kezi mpilo nzetu. Baba asluwa zanga utando njengwa lululu wako. Ezi mpilo nzetu. Baba wetu ingwele. We are before you this morning, Kulungulu eto ingwele, as your children. We are before you, Kulungulu eto tembegile, siti wena umu uche, Kulungulu eto ingwele, siti wenu tembegile, baba weto ingwele, siti siya bongage, uguti Kulungulu eto muthi izwi lako gulendao, liza ukshunya yelo angenke la wena, oltu melenga ayo, baba, siya kulegu uguti this morning, let your word be like rain, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let anyone and everyone who came thinking you are not hearing their prayers. O oh God, we ask this morning that show yourself up in the church you will bless them each and every leader this morning that when and ngulungulu uza ubabusisa egamen liga jesus christ we bring each and every person oh god this morning that ngulungulu weto ngwele let every burden, oh God, be lifted off in the name of Jesus. Let whoever came in this morning, Baba Wetoingwele, a confused him. Father, we speak in clarity of the mind in the name of Jesus. Let anyone who came this morning sick, oh Father, we pray that let your word heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, we speak even in this place this morning. Ekamen liga Jesu Christu wa se Nazareta siya bonga. Ugutu ngungulu ngulu pilayo siya bonga. Ugutu ngungulu ngulu otembegile siya bonga. Ugutu ngungulu ngulu zwayo siya bonga. Ugutu ngungulu ngulu otembegile. My God, take control of everything that we are about to do. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ngulu ngulu eto muhe no otembegile. Siti tati ndawo yako we nanje ngo Jehovah. We love you, and as exceeding in Kulungulueto Mwele. We love you, Mnini Manda Onke, Sitisia Pindugusho, Ugutisia Bongutu Mungulungulueto. We stand as in Pef Muloyetu, Mungu Jehovah, we now Okwela Manda, Mkulungulueto Mutle. Before your throne, we bow. Eka Mendiga Jesu Christu, Uase Nazareta. We give you glory and we give you honor. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 If you are here and you are visiting us for the very first time, we just want to say welcome. Welcome to the church without limits. If you have been visiting us, we want to encourage you. Ugutai information desk iglindile ne form. Yoguti ungalto ina nawe lomde ni where everybody is somebody. We are a church where God lives, and when He finds time, He then visits other churches. Umtola la. 
Utandu ngatandi, utiko, opilayo, ufumanega, kulendao. Before the, 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 the service ends, you would have witnessed to guti hai, askamba manga, asisho nje, genga yempaga mupatai, ukona ngempela, ukona manyanyani. Hallelujah. Bazaloni, have a wonderful time in his presence. We are here to do nothing else but to worship him and to give him all the glory and all the honor. We love you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to sing a new song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's my neighbor. It's your neighbor. The aguas bow powerful. Uzaibamba ngogulengoma. Hallelujah. Amen. One more time, one more time. 
Filete de mongo, filete de mongo, cuê, ague com ague cofá na naue, ague com ague cofá na naue, cosi, cosi, ama cosi, cosi, vos, 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 vos. Sexy, 
Lord, we open our hearts to you this morning. We want to receive you, O oh God. Therefore, take more of us and give us more of you, O oh God. We can never get enough of you, O oh God. Therefore, this morning we lay our lives unto thee, O oh God, so that when we in now, we are cooking us. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your name. In the name of Jesus.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.
thank you again. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace, your mercies that are new every morning. And so, Baba, in the morning, we thank you that uh, you have given us all things pertaining to life and godliness. And so, Father, we thank you that we lack nothing. We have all that we need. And so, Lord God, we thank you, Baba. You supply, oh God. Thank you for supplying all our needs, oh God. According to Christ, in my God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. You're supplying all that we need. And so, Lord God, we thank you that we lack nothing, oh God. When we are sick, you are Jehovah Rapha, my God. When we lack, you are Jehovah the provider. So Lord, we lift up our voices and our hands and we thank you. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. My God, where can we go? Where can we go? Where can we go? We thank you, Lord. We worship you. We honor you. We lift up our hands, oh God. Our voices, oh God. Even now, oh Lord God, we thank you and we bless you and we honor you. And so, Lord God, we thank you that again, oh God, it is this year, oh God, when things are expanding. It is this year, oh God, when we are expanding. And so, Father, we thank you, my God, that my God, even as we, spot, as we, as we expand, nothing is coming on our way, oh God. We are expanding to the left and to the right. And so, Lord, we thank you. That my God, according to your word, O oh God, we are living in the Amos 9, 13. My God sees it, O oh Father, where things are happening so fast, one thing after the other, that we will not be able to keep up with. And so, Lord, we thank you. My God, in the name of Jesus, that we shall never be the same again. We thank you, O oh God, that we're living my God, in the atmosphere of the supernatural. And so, Lord, we thank you that things are happening in the, super, in the supernatural. And we receive them as we declare them. My God, an atmosphere, the atmosphere where things are happening, one thing after the other, my God, where the eyes, the blind eyes are opening. We thank you, God, where the deaf ears are opening. We, Lord God, we thank you, my God, where doors are being opened. My God, in the name of Jesus, doors that men said shall never open, but they're opening. Come on, church, just pray, declare. And so, Father, we thank you, we bless you, that this is a time, this is a day, this is a season. Lord, we thank you that this is a time, this is a day, this is a season, oh God. My God, we thank you. We give, give you all the praise, we give you all the honor. And so, Lord, again this morning, oh Father God, we thank you, oh God, my God, in the name of Jesus that barriers of steel are being broken. Lord God, we thank you that barriers of steel are being broken. Father, we thank you that you are walking ahead of us. We are walking ahead of us. We are opening, oh God, doors that were open, that were closed. We are opening them, oh God. <laughs> and so, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We lift up your name. We honor your name, my God. And so we declare, we declare, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The things are happening, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In this season, oh Father, my God, we thank you that in this season, it is a season, oh God, that things are happening. It is
is a time, it is a season. It is a time, it is a season. And so, Father, we receive it. We receive the season. We receive this time. We receive this season, this time. That it is a time of God. It is your time, it is your season. It is your time, it is your season. And so, Father, we thank you. We bless your God. We bless your Father. We worship him. We honor you, O God. We honor you, O God. We bless you. Makarabo Ah, Lord God, we worship you. We honor you. We honor your name. Makarabo Sieta. Oh, come on, just declare. Just declare and pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we worship you. We honor you. We honor you. Come on, somebody. Just keep on praying. Just keep on declaring. Menderebe Sieta. Ya Karaba Sieta. She Karabo Sieta. Heavens are open. Heavens are open. Father, we thank you. We bless your God. My God, your word says, Ezekiel, he trusted you. And so, Father, we trust you. The Bible says he trusted the God of Israel. And he followed him. He never stopped following him. And so, Father, we trust you. We trust your God. Even as we follow you. Your word says, oh God. And he succeeded in everything, my God. He succeeded in everything that he, he decided to do. And so, Father, we thank you that, Lord, today we are succeeding. Even as we trust you, we are succeeding in everything that we do. And so, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We give you the praise. We honor your name. We bless you. And so, Father, we worship you. We honor you. We bless your name. We lift up your name. We honor your name. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We bless you. Yes, Lord. We bless you. Yes, Lord. We bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. Yes, Lord. We bless your name. We honor your name. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. Yes, Lord, we honor you. Yes, Lord Jesus, we bless your name. Yes, Lord, we bless your name. We lift up 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 your name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. When I whistle, my God and my Lord, we bless you. We honor you, O Jehovah. We honor your name. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. And we worship you. Hallelujah. Let's give God a hand of praise. More hands of praise, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You may be seated, saints, hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. Amen. We want to thank God again for today. It, for forever faithful God.
Amen. So we want to thank him in this cold weather. Cape Town. God is faithful. Hallelujah. I want to start by encouraging you um, for the um, uh, No Limits Festival. Festival uh, Hallelujah. Starting on the 12th till the 16th of July. Amen. I really want to encourage you to register today. I'm hoping that there is a desk after church. I don't see no banner, but I'm hoping that uh, the desk is sorted out. Can you make sure, uh, Andy, so that the the desk is so that people must register, hallelujah. So we need to register and uh, not only register, pay for the for the conference. It's, it's our only conference. Remember, we don't have men's conference, women's conference, youth conference. We, we have one conference that, that put everything together. Uh, we call it the festival. And so it is our main event of the year. So we want everybody to be there. Immediately after that event will be our plans is that we'll be moving from this place. And then this building will go down. Hallelujah. And then we will worship in a temporal place for a couple of months as the new building comes up. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I want to encourage you again that uh, um, today I know that uh, Project Solomon is going to be presenting to us because we, we, we really want uh, to ensure that everybody is part of what God is doing. Uh, amen. So that uh, we hear that uh, how much money we trust in God for, and uh, uh, and that money is here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell your neighbor that money is here. Amen. So we're going to be required to give sacrificially. It's going to be a lovely time. We're going to be really requesting um, challenging people to give. Starting with me. Hallelujah. Leading the way. Followed by elders. And deacons leading the way. And, and then the rest. Hallelujah. So but we, pastors, deacons, we're going to start the way. Amen. Amen. Showing the way with the we are building. Hallelujah. So everybody should be discussing how, how is he going to be giving. But we, and ministries, young people will be need to have a plan already. How are they, how are they going to contribute? And our friends are on line, we too, uh, they too, we expect them to contribute and be part of it. Hallelujah. We're not looking for much, just only about 20 million. That's all we're looking for. Not much. Yeah. Not, not, not much. Hallelujah. <laughs> not much. I'm serious. No, it's not much. It's just 20. That's all. Amen. That's all. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, and then, and then we build it. Hallelujah. Exactly. Amen. Give God a hand of praise. Let me build it. The Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 18, there's a, there was a king, King Ezekiel. The Bible says something very powerful about him. Read it. It's a, there's two verses. It says, the, it says he trusted in the Lord. Number one. Then it says there was never a king before him or after him like him. Imagine. No king like him before him and after him. Then it says he followed the Lord and he kept his command. Then the Bible says the Lord was with him. 
Then the last part which I love it, then it says he succeeded in all he did. And I want to declare to you, may you succeed in all that you do. It's an amazing, I found, uh, it's an amazing scripture that is in my heart for the last two weeks. I'm praying it over myself and over you. It says, there was never anyone like him before him and after him. <laughs> Can you imagine if the Bible says that about you? Was, there has never been anyone like you before. There was never anyone before you. Who's like you? And after you. No one has ever been like you. <laughs> My, it says there's no one like you before you. And even after you. It's an amazing scripture. It's an amazing testimony about this man. But the Bible then says he refused to worship the other gods. But what touches me is that it says he succeeded in all he did. <laughs> whether his studies, whether his business, it says in all he did he succeeded. Because God was with him. And so we're going to be raising money all our members all over the country, all over the world they're going to hear today how they're going to contribute because we want everybody to be part of it. Amen. Amen. Now look at the neighbor and say, make sure you're part of it. Amen. Make sure you're part of it. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so that's what we're going to be doing. Amen. So God is good. Let us go to the word of God. Isaiah 54. Last week. We're still there. We're still there. <laughs> Last week, uh, God was uh, uh, reminding us in Isaiah 54 that uh, he will, um, in fact, uh, let me read it. Uh, uh, verse 54. Sorry, uh, is after four. <coughs> I think just verse 13, it says, All your children will be taught by the Lord. Uh, we looked at it last week. The Bible says, All. Now, no exception. It says, All of them. Hallelujah. So there is no black sheep, nothing. It says, All of them. All of them shall be. Shall be uh, educated by the Lord, shall be taught by the Lord. Amen. In this season we are in, so you don't have to worry about your kids. Yours is to bring them. He says, I'll teach them. And the Bible says, All of them. Hallelujah. So we saw that last week, that's a promise of the Lord. But today I want us to go to verse 14, which is the heart of this scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Amen. last week, uh, in fact, the last thing I want to say last week, God then said, he says, they will enjoy peace and prosperity. He says, all, all of our children shall, shall, shall enjoy Shalom of God. <laughs> and, and we looked at what shalom means. Shalom, shalom doesn't just mean peace. Shalom means prosperity. Shalom means uh, 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 progress in everything that you do. And so God promised that, they, they, that our children shall, shall enjoy the shalom. Hallelujah. And so we, we are in that season where our kids, the Bible says, they will enjoy the shalom of God. And notice it's not what kids do, is what is because of 
you. So in other words, we don't look at what children are doing. We keep on standing on the word of God and say they must enjoy the shalom of God. Hallelujah. And, and when the Bible talks of kids, it really talks about your descendants. It talks about your grandchildren. Amen. And it's so important, therefore, as children of God, to stand on the word of God and, and declare the word of God. And even as we see, and I think that's but we must stand on the word of God and declare the shalom of God over your children. Everyone of you shall enjoy the shalom of God. As the word of God says. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes the enemy wants us to see what our kids are doing. And you get disappointed when you see your kids. And you start to speak contrary to the way. But the Bible, you must never forget, the Bible says we walk by faith, not by sight. So declare the shalom of God over your children and your descendants so that even your children's children long after you're dead they must enjoy the shalom of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But in all everything we have dealt with this year, here is the main verse that we're going to deal with today, which is a key to, uh, to Isaiah 54. It's verse uh, 14. Uh, Isaiah says in verse 14, in righteousness, you will be established. Hallelujah. It says in righteousness, you will be established. Then it says tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be far removed. It will not come near you. It will not come near you. I want to encourage you today on a very short thing. The title of my message today is that uh, righteousness is key. Or let's put this way, the key is righteous living. Is Russia's living. In this season, God was talking to the children of Israel and he's saying the key to my promises in Isaiah 54 is Russia's living. This is what God was saying to them. Because remember before captivity, before this time, before they, before they went to captivity, Israel was not walking righteously before God. So they were experiencing the consequences of their sin. They were feeling the pain, affliction, and everything was going on in their lives because of their sin. But now God was saying to them now, as you begin this new season, the key to my promises is righteousness, is righteous living. Notice it says, in righteousness, you will be established. In other words, in this season, where you're going to be shouting, you're going to be shouting as, as a barren woman. Where you're going to sing as a parent woman. Where you're going to enlarge to the left and to the right. Where your children will be blessed. He says the key is Russia's living. Hallelujah. In other words, we are saying to Israel, all what you need to do, you must learn to, to, to live right. You must really live right. And then you're going to expect experience the season. In other words, God was giving them a new season of expansion of blessings, but it had one condition, and that condition was righteous living. That's why he says to them in righteousness, you shall be established. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in other words, in this new season, there must be a new 
way. There must be a new way of living. Things must change. Hallelujah. He says things must change. There must be righteous living. So it's important to realize that the Bible says much more about righteousness. In fact, Solomon says this thing about righteousness. In Proverbs 21, verse 21, he says, whoever pursues righteousness and loves fine life. In other words, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life and prosperity. That's what he says. Whoever is pursuing righteousness will find life. Hallelujah. Will find life. I, I like it in message, the message version. He says, Whoever goes hunting for what is right. Hallelujah. Whoever goes hunting for what is right and kind finds life itself. Finds life itself. Hallelujah. So this is what uh, 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 God was saying to the children of Israel. He was saying in order for you to enjoy the promises in Isaiah 54, I'm going to require you to live right. I'm going to require you to live right. And you've got to realize that righteousness in the Old Testament is different from the righteousness in the New Testament. Because righteousness in the Old Testament was pursuing justice and being fair to your neighbors. This is how it was measured. But let's look at righteousness in the New Testament. In the New Testament, God goes even deeper because God shows us that we have no ability, we have no our we have no ability to achieve righteousness on our own. That is why Christ came. That's why Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, that's what he says. He says, God made Christ Jesus who had no sin to be seen for us so that in him we might, we might become righteous righteousness of God. So in other words, what is righteousness? We only get the gift of righteousness when we are in Christ Jesus. Because on our own, we cannot be righteous before God. It is through Christ Jesus that we are able to receive the gift of righteousness. Because righteousness is a gift. You don't work for it. Just by accepting Jesus, you become righteous. Somebody says, I become righteous just by receiving Jesus. So what, by receiving Christ Jesus as a Lord and Savior, you become righteous. Do you know what is the most dangerous thing on earth? It's not sin. <laughs> the most dangerous thing on earth is somebody who lives and thinks that I'm doing good. Amen. In actual fact, the beginning of change in your life is to realize how, 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 how sinful you are and how much you need God. Amen. Amen. This is the beginning of change. No man changes until he arrives at that point. No, no man changes. Everyone who thinks, let me tell you, the, the, word, the word repentance, it, it means you come to a point when you realize I'm, 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 I'm sinful. I'm the worst sinner who's ever lived. I need God. 
You know, you, repentance comes where you, when, you, when you arrive where Paul was. Paul, Paul says, I'm the worst. In fact, do you know that the statement by Paul says, I'm the worst sinner? I always sit and say, Paul was writing everything. He was writing oh, everything. There's only one thing he, became, he was wrong. When he wrote that verse. When he said he's, a, he's, he's the worst sinner. When I read this, this is where Paul was wrong. Because the worst sinner is not him. It's me. It is when you come to a point when you realize that it's not you are the one, you are the worst sinner. When you realize that I'm not sure fact, I'm the worst I actually need God. That's when you experience change. But for as long as you think, you said, no, 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 I'm right. Change is far from you. Change comes when you realize that's why the most dangerous person is a person who is self-righteous. Everyone else is wrong. Asking, what did I do? What did I do? That's the, that. That's the, that. is why. That, that is why Jesus was killed by the, was killed by a religious men who saw themselves as righteous. Who saw himself as righteous, keeping That's why Jesus was dealing with this other man. That rich, remember the rich man? Who came and says, I do, I do all this. I, 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 I don't steal, I don't lie. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do adulterer. I do everything, he says, but Jesus said, he looked at his man said, this man is righteous. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The point, the moment you start thinking that you are, you are better than others, oh, you are doing well, you are far from repentance. Repentance begins when you look at when you look at the mirror. And when you see that person on the other side, you see a person who does not deserve to be alive. And you see a person say, the things I think about, the things I do, the words I speak, I'm evil. I need God. I need God. When you do that, even your prayer life changes. You don't go to God and say, Lord, I have deserved this idea. <laughs> you go to God realizing you deserve nothing. The only thing you deserve is death. When you arrive at that point, then you are ready to change. Then there will be going to be transformation in your life. Righteousness. So when, when he says you be established in righteousness, you cannot be established in righteousness if you don't realize that you need that gift of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you see somebody who drinks and does all these things, who go to parties and stuff like that, going to clubs, when you don't see them worse than you, when you see them, <laughs> you see your, at, your, at yourself, you realize, do you actually the same? He, 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 he has seen that are outside. There's so much inside. When you realize that, my goodness, she's got, she became pregnant. You can see it. What about my ones? 
that you can see. That day you come to death, you will never live a life of criticizing other people. You will never live a life of weighing people. You will never live a life of saying this one is better. You will never. Every time you go before God, you will be crying tears. You will be crying tears. Not for them. You will be crying for yourself. <laughs> you be saying, Lord, what, I'm a sinful man. <laughs> Get away from me. I'm a sinful man, oh Lord. I'm a sinful man. Hallelujah. Then you realize, and church is something as you realize that once you arrive at that point, everything about you changes. Everything you don't judge people. Because you just look at them and because say, when you see them doing they are not worse than me. Then you realize that is because God has hid, has, has, has hid you. What they do not know, what they do not know, what they do not know, you realize that if people can know my stuff, they will realize that how rotten I am. Hallelujah. They will realize, even now, even those who actually they will realize that I, 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 I'm far from being right. All what I do is all by grace. All that I am is all by grace. It's not my doing. It's not my doing. It's all by grace. Then you realize when other kids are not doing well, are not doing well. When parents are coming about their kids, you realize it's not their fault. Sometimes. Yours are okay, all by grace. <laughs> you say, Lord, thank you. For your grace. I'm doing exactly what other parents are doing. But my outcomes are different. Mine are going to school. Mine are not drinking. But the other one they are drinking. Exactly what I'm telling them. She's telling them the same Then you realize it's not what I tell them. It's all by grace. It's all by grace. Then you stand and say, Lord, I just want to thank you. <laughs> you just say, Lord, I just want to thank you. Before I did what other parents are doing, God, I look at my children, Lord. It's not what I did. It's all what you did. All what you did. I do my part and you do your part, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you live an impactful life. But it all starts when you realize you are not right. A man, a religious man will never, that's why it's hard for a religious man to come to Jesus. He, he sees himself, I'm, I'm, I'm going to church every Sunday. I'm in a choir. I don't drink. And jolly. I wear uniform. We are in maybe uniform. Or whatever, whatever. I'm okay. <laughs> right. Just righteousness. He does not realize that you are evil as you do those things. You all need God. Then he says, You shall be established in righteousness. Hallelujah. We possess righteousness of Christ Christ. because of what Christ did on the cross. On the cross, there was an exchange. Jesus exchanged our sin. 
for his perfect righteousness. So that one day we can stand before God. And he will not see our sin. But he will see the holy righteousness of Christ. We have received as an a precious gift of, of righteousness. All because of his mercy and grace. Apostle Peter says something powerful. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, he says, he, he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. Hallelujah. We die to sins and we live for righteousness. On the cross, there was an exchange. On the cross, there was an exchange. Hallelujah. 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 Then God is saying, therefore, we will be established in righteousness. And so in this season, it's a season to be established in righteousness. Be established in righteousness in your relationship with Jesus. But notice then what he says. He says, because of that, <clears throat> he says, when you are established in righteousness, this verse 14, he says, terror will not will be far away from you. Terror will be far away from you. But this is a promise when we are established in righteousness. Hallelujah. He says, you will have nothing to fear. Hallelujah. So now when we are establishing righteousness, you have nothing to fear. But, but it's not for everybody. It's those who are establishing righteousness. He, he says, nothing will come near you. You have nothing. The tyranny or terror will be far from you. It, says, it will not come near you. Not it says you will have nothing to fear. And nothing means nothing. So you will not fear retrenchments. You will not fear lack. You will not fear poverty. You will not fear nothing. Whilst everybody is fearing hearing the news, what's happening outside. While people are fearing of the things that are said are coming. He says, you, you, you will fear nothing. Because none of those will come near you. He's not talking about people who are coming to church, who are church, church goers. He's talking about people who are established in Russia. He says, when you are established in righteousness, when the rest of the people are worried, you have nothing to worry about. Hallelujah. Look at the rebel and say, you have nothing to worry about. Say to the rebel, you have nothing to worry about. That is the promise of God. <laughs> he says, you have nothing to worry about, my friend. Terror. Will not come near you. Sicknesses will not come near you. You have nothing to worry about. You don't have to worry about what will happen to your kids. He says, if you are established in righteousness, that is why David says, I was young. Now I'm old. But I've never seen the Russians forsaken. Not as well. Then he says, and their kids, kids. Begging for prayers. Oh, say to them, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Tell you, them, you have nothing to worry about. Not as David. David says, he says, I was a kid. But now I'm old. I have never seen church goers, church members, pastors, deacons, elders, ushers, worshippers. Does he say that? He, he says, I've never seen what? I've never okay. seen what? And <laughs> was. Those who have a right standing with God. 
We don't get the right standing with God through positions. We don't get the right standing with God through our money. That is why Jesus said to that young man, Go sell. Go, go, give away everything. Sorry. He says, Go, give away everything. Because he thought he can buy the position with God. Amen. Amen. Of course, we the church needs money, but you don't get your right standing through money. Amen. Amen. That's why David therefore says, I've never seen the, the Russians forsaken. But I like the last part. No, they are children. Begging for bread. Your righteousness your living right will benefit you, your children, and your children's children. So continue walking right before God. Continue walking right before God. Amen. Amen. Righteousness. Are you here? So this expansion is for those who are living right with God. Amen. Amen. I thought I was going to have time and read for you Galatians chapter 5. As Balek in the verse is yek. Let me leave you. Then verse 15. <laughs> then he says, if anyone does attack you, it will not be my doing. Whoever attacks you, we, attacks you will surrender to you. Will surrender to you. In other words, all attempts, some will say all. All attempts against you will be unsuccessful. All attempts against so, you will be unsuccessful as you before they even start. So you have nothing to worry about. He says all attempts against you will be, will be unsuccessful. You know why? Because you have God on your side. You have God on your side. Hallelujah. Who will defend you. He will defend your cause. He will protect you. That's what he was saying to Israel. He says, from this day onwards, all attempts against you, Israel, will be unsuccessful. And so I declare to you, Basalwan, as the word of God says, that all attempts against you, all attempts against your career, all attempts against your business, all attempts against your children, all attempts against your marriage, all of them will not be successful in the name of Jesus. Notice, he says, all attempts, attempts will be made. <laughs> attempts will be made at work everywhere. Now, when you say that attempts are called, Comparisonly that these things happen. So that the word may be fulfilled. <laughs> it is compulsory that the attempts come so that this word may be fulfilled. If there are no attempts, how, so, where, how will this word so happen? Chance. They should take a chance so that this word May be fulfilled. All attempts against you will not succeed. You'll be establishing righteousness. You'll be establishing righteousness. How do you become establishing righteousness? Study the word of God. Meditate upon it. Day and night. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
Hallelujah. Amen. You'll be established in Russia. Notice you're not established in, 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 in church standings. You're not, you're not established in church. No, no, you are established in righteousness. Hallelujah. You, you, you're not, you're not, you're not, you know. <laughs> You, you are established in righteousness. That is why Jesus says in Matthew 6, verse 33, Seek the kingdom, kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then he says all these things shall be added. When we seek his righteousness, all these things are that verse 17 at no weapon forged against him. He's not talking to everybody. He's talking to those who are established in righteousness. He's talking about those who are established in righteousness. Look, yes, I wish I had time now. You know, this is Galatians. Galatians 6 verse 17. Yeah. It yes, just two seconds, ne? Just, just, yeah. was born now. Kolus was born now, ever. So that you can see them. So that you don't say it's me, you see them. Who's born now, ever? Dim low. Yeah, ever? Five. It's a sugar system. So I say, walk by the Spirit. You will not craft, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit. And the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other. So that you are, you are not to do whatever you want. But you are led by the Spirit. You are not of the law. That's okay. The acts of the flesh <laughs> are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy. Drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm done. <laughs> Finish. I don't want to add anything. Amen. Let's bow our Father, we thank you for your word today. We give you all the honor and the praise. Be glorified, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you, honor you, in Jesus' name. And so, God, this morning, help us, O oh God, to be established in righteousness. It is our desire to be established, O oh God, in righteousness. It is our desire, O oh God, to be found in you all the time. We thank you. And so, as we are praying, if you are here, 
You want to begin the journey of being established in, the, in, in righteousness. It begins by giving your life to Jesus. And so if you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus. Just lift up your hand wherever you are. <coughs> Let's pray with you. Let us here today. I see the hand there. I see the hand there. The Lord bless you. Take out the There's someone else. There's somebody else here today. This is not to embarrass you. But this is to help you. There's someone here else again here today. Who says, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to be established in Russia. I've been attending church. I never knew that I need to be established in Russia. I never knew that it doesn't matter what I do. I can never be righteous on my own. Righteousness only comes through Christ Jesus. I want to be right. I want Jesus. Are you here today? This is not to embarrass you, my friend, but to help you. I want to pray with you. Just raise your hand wherever you are. If you are that person, I want to pray with you. And God bless you as you do that. God bless you, You too can join. You too can join. And even those right home who are watching, you too can be established in Russia. Starting by giving your life to Jesus. By receiving the gift of righteousness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is God. Let's give him a hand of praise. Amen. Thank you. We bless you. We honor you. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone. Behold, the new has come. We give all the praises and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God a hand of praise. Come on, church. Give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Where there is a temple. Where there is God supply abundantly it is offering time. Hallelujah. Amen. And the leaders greet the saints that are in the house of the Lord and those that are watching us online in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. As Alwani is about to give, let us read Luke chapter 14. Luke chapter 14 from verse 12 to 14. I'm reading from the NLT version. Read as follows. Then he turned to his host. When you put on a luncheon or a banquet, he said, don't invite your friends, your brothers, your relatives, and rich neighbors, for they will invite you back, and that will be not only your reward. Instead, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. Then at the resurrection of the righteous, God will reward you for inviting those who are not going to repay you back. Hallelujah. Uh, we are being taught, Bazalwane, to give beyond what we can give. Amen? Not only to those that are close to us, but those that are in need. Hallelujah. There's another scripture that is in Luke chapter 3, verse 11. 
it reads as followed. John replied, if you have two sheds, give one to the poor. If you have food, share it with those who are hungry. If you have food, share it with those who are hungry. Hallelujah. We must share with those who are in need. That is what we are being taught here. For utiko utiko wandoni kwenye zia. Amen. As as one of us alone, it is winter time. We are going to give to the church. Um, we are going to give money to the church right now. But I want us to go beyond. See as good. There are so many people out there that do not have blankets. So many people that do not have anything to wear. If you have something at home that when are we seven this we had a ministry, we have a ministry up in Gonzo and a hand of grace. We would love to extend Guni Bazalwanya to say to you, if you have more than what you think you have, just wash that and iron it and bring it to a hand of grace up in Gonzo. We have so many abandu abasilegleyo, abandu and abandonane that do not have. And this is the time for us, as you can see outside, Abanya Abandona Balele Prandle. So I would love us to, to, to pray for those families and also not just to pray but to give beyond what we can give. May the Lord speak to your heart as we are about to depart. When you open, I have more than enough. Amen. So when you know and you know that Abanduana Bangabakabasa is seven zisile item. We, 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 we are extending as a church to you. Even if you are not giving to us as the church, but if you see a Klalen, there are so many kids, if you see a Skolwen, that we are born as a, a parent, as a, a colleague, a Skolwen, or as a desk mate, you have more than two judges that when I'm talking about saying, this is the time for us to think, not that because it's winter, but I just want to band the Lumgeni, put song, Silapa. That let us let us go beyond giving, because we give out of love. Amen. Ba wolele zula ko eli singa denga lo chiko e tu silipi ne silenze. Ukuze mighty God, our reward is to get go away from heaven. May you help us, oh God. We need you. Izula ko li chilo namsha njoko kupa sitting banati na silungile. Akpresi no ba wenu bona. Singa ede chiko e tu namanda. Onge we come to you. We confess unto you. We pray for your righteousness that comes from you. Only you, oh God, that can give us righteousness. We repent this morning and we pray, oh Father, for Umnikelo. We pray, Father God, for Abandu and Abako. As they are changing, as they are thinking in their hearts, may you touch each and every one of us in our hearts to give beyond what we can be able to give. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, be glorified, O oh Father, as we are about to give right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
Sanji, Bulls of Epon Sabakoyo, Dinner Bulls and Nonga Bazalwane, and greetings to everyone who's watching at home. I greet you all in the wonderful name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. In midweek services, the Tuke Bazalwane are continuing as normal next week, Clevegacy Vulayo, and then on Friday, we invite a youth and Allah. Sene kata koroze youth ezi tu afem konzwe ne kola youth ingle ingle la youth ingle ingle biti bene on Friday then la youth ke mugi indala apo nam di koyo di pila koko na di youth mos nam si I invite you again this coming Friday ke bazalwane if you are between the age of forty one to fifty four years si I invite you ako le sano go six kutu ake we are invited we round table talk. Special guest, matters of global interest. So, I was in Donje as it is Kaswa and Jane and Jani, the discussor we round table. I saw the sister like a round table, Jay, go get conto. Zabacon is the noise as our upper. Well, Gala is under the shushu. Good work as on I get out discuss of what's up way to go out to your what's up before the end of today. So, cousin, look at your logistics, send up as a good year plus end up by a transport. Gonna get your invite one or six. Good to get it all pick here as I bet it is cast up around the table. God's will versus my choice. Need the leg and most youth and dollar. He came here to get his coming Friday. Amen. And then he be in the second guard June, the first Friday of the month, Keba Zalane say Yazi, or that Abala Pengonzweni, they are meeting in go six upper in Gonzweni. And then on Saturday at two PM, the women of faith is a be it banana nayo up in Gonzweni. So that is a whole struggle bazalon and go zone three. It mia bo it expanded to uncharted territories. E scripture mu genesis thirteen verse fourteen to fifteen. And then it dress code ke be sesi vile kutwa your own glitz and glam. O wamke akazufana no wose kangwam my own glitz and glam. So ke sesa wazake ke third kachun se ba sesi njalo be sesi chulo ke bazalona yir reminder women of faith ba kona se chulo sati siaka o mama se ayaz ngaban bo kala ba shuku ma yuta izindo zisenziwa no ba go pipa ngasemva. Niza ubona kuko i desk is six from zone one to zone six. Upadala kwi zone ya kose chilo ke sati contribution kama mangamye for unyaka wonke i 1,200. Kukuwe ke iba ufunu kui padala yonke okanya ufunu kui padala bit by bit. Ifu zai padala bit by bit. I receipt ya kuza ifumana all nika i 1,200 yako ui padale ya pelela. Njengo zone five. I think it was zone five. Badala, as from last week, born I one point two Zabo says the lele with the skis. I was here, Basmo, some bond was changing. So, okay, umfund is Kebes at Chiloga get to life festival. Kebazalwane, it dates as they to move with me twelve year trip with sixteen Gatulai, Zabango Wednesday up until Sunday. This is Chiloga Saturday contribution. E three hundred Kumdungamia, this out there like a umis nailly, a Sunday Lenga Pambili announcement. Ye KKM then Quake. Dictale Ukos for U Project Solomon. Amen. Week we are writing exams, Ekinum kids. We are writing from grade three up to grade six, meaning that next week Abazali Bagabanga and Abaku from grade R to grade two, Bazo Beseli Pa, Landau. So after church, Kasel Kikio, Umdanu, I am Landa Pa, Bazo Beseli Pa from grade R up to grade two. Then what's going to happen next week from eight o'clock, Bazali, eight o'clock, please. Make sure umdanula because by half past eight, siakala. If your child is not here because who calls him that you need to prepare, then by half past eight, siakala. Make sure umdanula pa umdanu grade three and four. 
3 and 4, we'll be writing from 8 o'clock to first service. 3 and 4. And then 5 and 6 will be second service from half past 10. Make sure at 10 o'clock, umdana ulapa if uwa grade 5 and 6. Zube spalela paya e ulwini. I dress code ye tu bazali, mtope mtope, okanye ishet ne jean. Uba gana yo e blue, prefere buke u ube ngu black. Mtope mtope ne jean, white shirt or white shirt ne jean. And uh, next week, the other thing is stationary. Don't worry about the stationary because abanya babalang ye pen, abanya babalang ye pencils. So don't worry about the stationary, we'll sort that. So we'll make provision of the stationary. Just the time, make sure that umdana ulapa, grade three and four in the morning at eight o'clock. Are we clear, Vazali? And then, abanda, sorry, abandana ababalayo, u three no four. When they are done, they're gonna wait there, ape ulwin. So umzalu kubakwako, auzumfumana pause, umfumana ulwin. Same as grade five and six. When they are done, they are going to wait there, e ulwin. Abandana bazobe paya, abandana banga bali, Abako is great in Chamber and Dana Bavis Tile because when they don't know about the exams. So, Bezo Beshali Pabum Dania Kalukuza, Noka create R from R one and two. Thank you so much, Vazali. Greetings to everyone. Um, I'd like to greet my friend this morning, Absentia, Bulisa Abafundisaba Koyo, and the spouse. Um, deacons um, and the deaconess and their spouse as well. Seniors, um, seniors. Um, abanda ba tala ba ko yono lucha ke kamalo lichilunfe no vugela miyesu Christu. I'm just here to make an announcement for Project Solomon. Um, as Mfundi said earlier, said that we are having a fundraising drive. The meaning of the fundraising drive is basically to say mangu one, but now um, because the church we're still submitting is enough to the authorities, but now we are completely done. Now we need to move to gear three, and we are fully, fully on fundraising mode. Um, so we are 101% sure, God willing, that we'll be building in August. So we need to be out of this building, and the structure needs to be down, um, and the other one will be built in August. So that means we have about three months. And um, I think there was a presentation, but okay, that's fine. So first slide, first, oh, firstly, um, in order for us, basically we are, as I said, on fundraising mode. The action plan is, is that we'll be out of SS Structure as Ventula by August. Um, I wanted to just give uh, uh, information of, in order for us to move, we need to know where we're starting. So at the moment, we are standing at 1.6 million. So that is our starting point. So by August, as we know from our previous presentations, we'll be building in phases. Um, okay, there. So yeah, so I'm gonna be very quick, Bazalana, it is an announcement. Um, so that is basically just to give a graph of where we've been from 2019 and then, yeah, probably won't be able to see it, but that's just um, the trajectory of Apostoga from 2019 to 2023. So we are now standing at 1.6 million. We, okay, next slide, please. As we know, we'll be building in stages. So the first stage that we'll be building is the auditorium, and those are just projections as per um, the records, say quantity surveyor. So we need about 7.3 million to complete the auditorium. So that is what we need in August in order to build that auditorium, because that is what we will um, build initially so that we can come back to Kwanzi auditorium while the other phases are being built. So, okay, we know the quote that says, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Ugo funeke, 1.6 million, we need to get to 7.3 million. Um, in August, it's doable, Bazalwane, it's, yeah, just have to, it's, all things are possible. So, um, the next slide, please. So, this is just a 
a plan um, of e events or fundraising ideas. As I said, we are fully, fully on fundraising mode at the moment. So those are the some of the events um, that are to come. As Amishi Michilo, we have a, a, a two-liter challenge year wharf that the wharf has has um, implemented, and um, that is also towards the Project Solomon. We're also going to be having a golf day in August. So if you are an avid golfer or you know of anyone, please take part. E-Youth will be um, doing bake sales and selling during June month. And the other two is Zanzi. We will explain in the other um, fundraising drive and give more in information on that. So the next slide, please. As I said, um, we are doing this one bite at a time. Those are the ministries that we are still to engage with. In the previous slide, we had EWOLF, we had the EBBIN, and, um, okay, not EBBIN, but we had EWOLF, we had EYouth, and another ministry, but we still need to engage with these ministries and um, partner up with them and have fundraising ideas, because we know that you guys have a lot of ideas um, when it comes to fundraising, and in order for us to meet that uh, e, 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 e target, which is about 7.3 million in August. And the next slide. Last slide is pledges. As, as Mufunisi likes to say, we need serious money. So everyone, we know that a lot of people have been contributing via EFT, and we thank you for that. Um, we ask that you continue to, to, to give towards the project. And those who would like to pledge, who haven't came to, to pledge and to say, this is what I would like to contribute, we will be available at four yeah, at the desk. So if you can come and then um, to give via EFT. But we do have a new idea and a new website. And Wave will come up and explain ways in order for us to give via that website. So I'd like to give over to Abel. Hallelujah. Uh, greetings, saints. Uh, all protocols observed. Amen. And I will just um, add from what Ukosi was talking about on ways to give. So I just want to announce that we have different ways now to give um, that will help you um, to be able to give in the comfort of your own home, or as you are sitting here, you can be able to do so. So if you've got data, can you just go to your phone and go and Google Langa Baptist Church? Um, as you Google Langa Baptist Church, you're going to see that there is a website, and there's direction, and there's location. Then you can just click on the website. I think that is the slide. You can click on the website. Something like this is going to show on the website. Amen. 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 <laughs> okay, when you get home, can you configure the Wi-Fi hotspot? Then the Wi-Fi hotspot. Then you can do that. But so long, you can check on the screen. That is the church website, right? So you might be sitting here and thinking, you, you might be sitting here, maybe you're a first-time visitor, thinking they're talking about Project Solomon. You don't know what Project Solomon is or, um, what, or how can I get involved and so forth. So as you scroll down, can I go to the second, um, second slide, please? Yes, so as you scroll down, that's one of the nice features that actually I like about the new website is that you can click when you see there's written God's power and glory. Um, those are the sermons that we have had this month. So when you click there, it will lead you directly to the sermon. So you can watch the sermon in the comfort of your, of your, of your, ho of your own ho home and you can catch up on the sermons. Amen. Amen. We are expanding, we are expanding, we are expanding. As you scroll down again, the next slide, please. You see that there is information there written, we are building. Now, under we are building, there are icons there when you can learn more about Project Solomon. 
Can you go to the next slide? Now that tells you more about Project Solomon, what it is about, when it started, and how you can get involved with Project Solomon. And then on the next slide. Now we have, um, we have other ways that you can um, give. We've got PayPal, we've got PayFast, and we've got Snapscan. Now, PayFast is for our, is for our online family and for our family, uh, for our members abroad. Or even if you are here and you use dollars, that is for you, and you would be able to to make payments and transactions via um, PayPal. We also use um, PayFast. PayFast is a very secured um, online system. If you are used to um, buying online, you do your Uber Eats, you use your um, Uber rides and buying or shopping online. So these are the so that is still the same way that you can use to um, to make contributions towards Project Solomon. Can you go to the next slide, please? Now, when you do that, it will ask you. Um, sorry. Yes, it will ask you to um, donate. Um, so you can put whatever amount that you want to pledge towards Project Solomon. And then you can um, uh, put your banking details. And believe me when I say that it is encrypted and it is secured. And you can also put your, can I go to the next slide please? So on the next slide, you see that you put your email address or you put your cell number so that you can get a, 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 a receipt that, your per that, that, that um, you have made a successful transaction, right? And if you put your cell number, you're gonna get, a, you're gonna get the receipt over your SMS, or if you put your email address, then you can get it through your email address. Amen. Amen. It shows you your successful transaction. You don't have to bring anything to us. It will send directly to the Project Solomon email, and we will see that you have made your pledge or, and you have, done, um, you have done your payment. Amen. Amen. We are expanding Bazalwane. So now it's no longer just... Um, money transactions and physical, you know, transactions. You can do things online. Hallelujah. I just want to, um, before I sit down, um, I just want to leave you with this. If you go to the book of Haggai, chapter 1 and chapter 2, uh, just read it at home when you have time. I'll just summarize it for you. So the book of Haggai, it talks about prioritizing building the temple of God. Hallelujah. So just, just a background summary that says that. So it was nearly about 400 years after Solomon had built the temple of God, and it was destroyed, along with the city of Jerusalem and Babylon's. But God allowed Israel to be overrun by their enemies and be because Oh, sorry, overrun by their enemies because they had turned their back on God. Amen? Amen. And they had begun to worship false God. And many of the Israels were taken into captivity for several years. I'm just going to fast forward because of time. But through the grace of God, many of the Jews were permitted to return back into their land. A few decades later, yet when they returned to their land... They neglected the house of God and began to rebuild their own lives and neglected the temple of God. Hallelujah. Now, Prophet Haggai challenged the people to make God's house a priority. He called the people to prioritize God's house and see the blessing of God in building their own temple. Hallelujah. So what God is saying to us this morning is that prioritize the temple of God so that you would see the blessing into building the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, after the people had repented and went to work, and went to work, labor, and lay the foundation in the temple of God, and because they were committed, committed in building God's house, God declared over them in Haggai chapter 2 verse 19, that from this day, I will bless you. God declared upon them, 
upon them that from this day, I will bless you. That is from the day that they had decided to lay the foundation in building the temple of God. That I will bless you. Again, I am saying to you this morning, that are you prioritizing building the house of God? Are you then saying, or are you then sitting there and wanting to miss on this declaration that God has, has said in Haggai chapter 2 verse 19, that I will bless you because they had started to build the temple of God. When we build God's house, he promises to build ours. As you build the house of God, he builds yours in return. When we honor God with our wealth, he promises to bless us in return. Barcelona, it is an honor to be part of this church as they are building. It is an honor to be part of this church as they are because God is literally rolling the red carpet to us and saying, come my child, give me an opportunity. Give me an opportunity to show you what I can do when you honor me, to show you what I can do when you surrender to me, when you build my temple. Hallelujah. And God is saying this morning, asking you the question that are you prioritizing building the house of God? Amen. 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 So, I would be prioritizing building the house of God. I would be prioritizing wanting to know how do I get involved? How do I put my brick there? Because I want to experience this expansion that God is promising me. I want to experience what God is, what God wants to, wants, um, to give me in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the question is, are you prioritizing building the temple of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I guess Pindas, you call Belizanja, you project Solomon Committee. Siabulele, siabulele, bayenzi kate, bayenza i benen kuchazu kakulu. I hope, I hope si fumani kuchazu. Hallelujah. Siabulele, nangabashuma yele. Banabu, nangabashuma yele. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Asi kwa beli zanja ni Kingdom Kids. Ni Kingdom Kids. Abandwa na maya pala. Eva zale, specialist na abandwa na bapala. Yusba kuchazu kakulu. Uh, we have been, uh, uh, as this church, we have been leading Amakashama needs. In not just, not just the uh, Western Cape. We have been leading uh, uh, nationally. So, Siba uh, Kutaze, spread this and make sure that they are ready. All right. Are there any visitors? Uh, visitors? Anyone who is here for the very, very first time? Anyone who is here for the very, very first time? I will ask Kutazanga about Duglengai. There you go, there you go. Hallelujah. Without waste of any pleasure. Masi valen. Do you mind to stand? Hallelujah. Let us pray. Raise your hands. Father, you have been so good. We thank you for ease. We that we will be established in righteousness, O oh God. And Father, we will not fear anything. And you promise that even those who are attacking us, they will come and bow before us. And my God, you promised then later on in 17 that they will... There is no weapon that will form against us that shall prosper. I pray that you may continue to allow us to experience victory in every area of our lives. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. Nge promises zezula. Kose azamke ela si as receiver. Gaonga maklesha. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that ngulungulu, if there is any one of us, ngosiam, who is, who is praying and expecting an urgent victory in a particular area. I pray, Father, that you may release that victory. Let each and every one of your children who is here, who have received your word and is praying and expecting a victory, that my God, 
every one of us may ex may experience that victory in the name of Jesus. Victory. I speak victory. I speak victory upon each and every one. Let us overcome, oh Father. Let us overcome. Overcome every temptation. Overcome every attack of the evil one. Overcome every plan. Every, every, every plan. Every sabotage. Let me say benzene. Let us overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Victory I speak upon each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. May the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, may rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me even the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. As this grace has ended, I live in my own land. My wealth is doubled. My joy lasts forever. Amen. I am succeeding in whatever I choose to do. And light is shining on the road ahead of me. Amen. My gates are open. They will never be shut day or night. So that men may bring me the wealth of the nations, their kings led in triumphal procession. Thank you for joining us. We trust you had a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Have a great week ahead.